Welcome to the World Wide Center of Math. My name is Ben, and today I'm going to do this week's problem of the week. For, a, for the full problem and the solutions transcript, uh, there will be a link in the description. So, to start, given matrix A, the problem of the week is to calculate E to the A power, um, which can be difficult because A is a matrix. So, to do this, we are going to use the power series of e to the x. If you don't know where this comes from or how to use it, uh, there will be, you can click here or there will be a link in the description to a, another video where we go over this. So um, from now on, I'm just going to assume that this is okay and I will write this out. Okay. And this goes on to infinity. So um, even though normally we, when we do e to the x, we use numbers, we can also use the power series to calculate e to a matrix. Um, and we do that by just plugging this matrix A into uh, for x and e to the x. So the power series will be this. Okay, and this will also go on to infinity. So, um, we just have to start calculating this and see what happens. Uh, to begin with, we have a to the zeroth power. And just like with numbers, if you raise something to the zeroth power, you get one. If you raise a matrix to the zeroth power, you get the identity matrix, which is just a matrix of zeros with one along the diagonal. Um, a to the first power is just A, uh, which is right here. So we start actually calculating and go on to A squared. So A squared is just equal to A times A itself, which is matrix multiplication. All right, and then we just start going through each um, element of the matrix and calculating the value. So for this one, we do this plus this times this plus this times this plus this times this, which, because this is all zeros, is just going to be zero. Um, same with these, all the way down. So uh, for this element, we are going to do this times this, which is 0, um, plus this times this, which is 0, and this times this, which is 0. So we get another 0. Let's see. For the this one, we get 0 plus 0 plus 0. Another 0. Um, let's see. For this one, we do this times this, plus 0, and 0. Another 0. For this top right one, we do this times this, which is 0. This times this, which is negative 4, plus this times this, which is 0. So just negative 4. Um, going down here, um, 0 plus 0 plus 0. And 0, 0, 0. All right. So this is a squared. And hopefully you notice that we're getting more zeros into the matrix. So let's go on and calculate a to the third, which is a times a times a. But since we know a times a, we can just do a squared times a. And so a squared is this. times a. OK, so going through the matrix elements again, we have 0 um, plus 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 
let's see, going in the second row now, or second column, sorry, uh, 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0 plus 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 0. All right, last column, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 0, 0. All right, so this is just the 0 matrix. Um, so now we have a 3. If we look at a to the 4 power, which is just going to be um, a four times, you know, multiplied together. Well, this is just this is just going to be equal to a to the third times a, which a to the third is zero. So this is going to be zero, and hopefully you can see that every subsequent power of a is going to be zero. So what we can do is for this particular matrix, this isn't true of every matrix, but for this particular matrix, we can say that e to the a is equal to a to the 0 power plus a to the first power plus 1 over 2 factorial a to the second power plus 0 for the rest of the terms. For the rest of the terms where the exponent of a is greater than 2. So. So this is a squared. So we can write e to the eighth power is equal to a to the zero power, which is the identity matrix, plus a to the first power, which is a, plus 1 over 2 factorial, which 2 factorial is just 2, so 1 half. Um, a squared, which is this. And so we could just um, multiply this matrix by 1 half, which since it's only one element, we just multiply this element by 1 half. So simplifying this, is just negative 2. Uh, so our final matrix is, let's see, 1, uh, 0 plus 1 plus so 1. 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. 0, 0, 0. That's another 0. 0 plus 2 minus 2. 2 minus 2, 0. 0 plus minus 4 plus 0 is negative 4. And 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. So e to the a equals this matrix. Um, and this only works because of a particular property of this matrix. So it won't work for every matrix. Um, to see more of our videos, uh, of our problem of the week videos, you can go here. For to subscribe to our channel, you can go here. And to co uh, go to our website at centerofmath.org, you can go here. Click here. And if you're on a mobile device, you can go to that I in the top right corner. Um, thank you very much.